okay uh, students now let's connect the hardware with our arduino uh, this is the board i am using uh, right now uh, which is arduino yun let me connect it with the usb pin of my laptop or computer uh, now first of all we will uh, check our arduino board with a very basic program uh let's go to the uh let's launch arduino and go to the file examples basics and blink now this blink uh, program is uh, written is this works with almost every uh with every arduino board okay uh, because in every arduino board there is a built in led uh connected with the digital pin 13 uh of the board okay uh as you can see that there is a built in mnemonic which is led underscore built in in this program uh and uh, behind this led underscore built in it is defined that uh this is uh, the connection is to be made with pin number 13 of arduino yun or arduino uno or arduino mega uh, whatever the board is okay now let me do sl some slight uh, change in the program okay uh now first of all uh, we need to select our board go to the tools uh go to the board uh tab and uh, you can see uh, several categories uh, in this uh, uh, board tab okay now since these are avr based boards microcontrollers that are used in these arduinos are avr microcontrollers so go to the arduino avr boards and select your uh, desired board the one which you have connected with the usb of your laptop or pc okay uh most of you must be using arduino uno mega or nano so you can select accordingly i am using arduino yun if uh okay after selecting the board go to the port and uh, i can see just one com port and in front of that com port arduino yun is written so this is straight forward if you are not able to find out uh with which port your arduino is connected you can go to the uh device manager of your pc and under this ports tab you can see with which com port your arduino is connected okay now uh after selecting the board and the uh port of uh, your arduino what we can do is that we can write our program right now we are picking up this example and we can verify this example okay i had told you last time in this uh, uh in this uh portion of your arduino ide you can see uh, where your hex file is located okay this is useful if you are uh, using bare bone microcontrollers this is also useful if you are doing some simulation okay uh this is the simulation we had done for uh uh this won't work because this is the program uh, i have selected arduino uno over here and the hex file i have generated is uh, of arduino yun okay so we have done this before fine you can uh, make use of this hex file for the uh, bare bone microcontrollers and you can make use of this hex file for uh, writing it on the uh, uh, arduino you have uh, arduino for the arduino library the one you have imported in the uh, proteus okay now after we are done with the verification of uh, our program we can upload this program on our arduino board in order to see whether uh, led built in led is working or not okay now let me uh, click upload 
and uh, you will see some uh, flickering of these LCDs this means that our uh, program is being written on the board and with this uh, if I try to uh, bring it closer to the camera uh, LED with uh, pin number 13 is blinking after uh, one second okay now this is the verification of our program this is the verification of our uh, software and hardware both now after we are done with this now let's connect this LCD if you remember it was like uh, too difficult there were plenty of connections when we were connecting this LCD with the bare bone microcontroller which was AVR32 uh, sorry at Mega32 which is obviously AVR based uh, and we also did that with at Mega 328P, the microcontroller that is uh, used in Arduino Uno. Okay. Now let's do the connections of this LCD, starting from the pin number one, which is ground. Pin number two is VCC. Pin number three is used for the contrast. We will make use of this potentiometer to adjust the contrast of LCD. Okay. Now the next one is register select, uh, read write, enable. This read write pin, since we have to write uh, every time we write on LCD, this read write is to be connected with the ground. If we have to read from this LCD, then we need to connect it with the VCC. Okay. Uh, pin number seven is D naught, D1, D2, D3. Uh, we will make use of D4, D5, D6, D7. So Arduino, uh, this example of the, uh, the ex example that is being used by the IDE of Arduino, they have written the program in such a way that you can write your uh, program or you can write whatever you want to be written on the LCD. Uh, you can uh, do that uh, with uh, the use of just four pins. Uh, the one we had done with the, the bare bone microcontroller at Mega 328P, we had um, um, we, we made use of eight pins. Now we, with this uh, Arduino built-in program, we can make use of just four pins to uh, write our program, to write our command or to write our data on this LCD. Now pin number 15 and 16 is, uh, uh, is for the backlight of this LCD. Pin number 15 is VCC and pin number 16 is the ground. Okay. Now let's do the connections. First of all, uh, let's take five volts from our Arduino board and make this red line on the breadboard VCC. Uh, now let me take the ground from the Arduino Yun and connect it with the uh, ground line of Arduino, uh, sorry, of this breadboard. Once, uh, so from, from this VCC and ground, we will be taking connections for the LCD. Okay. Uh, after we are done uh, with the ground and VCC, let me connect uh, two. Uh, let me take two connections from the LCD. The first one is uh, ground, which is the gray wire. And the second one is the white wire, which is to be connected with the VCC of the breadboard. Okay. So I have connected gray with the ground of the breadboard and white with the uh, VCC of the breadboard. Now this will give a uh, power to the LCD. Okay. The third wire is the third pin is used for the contrast. For contrast, I will make use of this potentiometer. Let me insert it in the breadboard. 
the middle uh, pin of the contrast will adjust the resistance of the potentiometer okay uh, I am making sure that I have uh, made the connection properly the other two pins of the potentiometer are to be connected with the VCC and ground of the breadboard okay so these are the connections for the contrast of the LCD now the next one is register select and enable before I uh, connect register select and enable let's go to the file examples liquid crystal and hello world in this example of uh, Arduino IDE you can see the uh, connections and you can connect your LCD with the Arduino board uh, register select is connected with pin number 12 now this register select is of LCD right uh, and this 12 is actually the digital pin of your Arduino board enable is to be connected with the 11th pin of uh, Arduino uh, D4 is to be connected with pin 5 D5 of LCD is to be connected with the digital pin of Arduino uh, which is 4 D6 of LCD is to be connected with the digital pin 3 of Arduino D7 of LCD is to be connected with the digital pin 2 of Arduino read write is to be connected with ground VSS which is pin number 1 of LCD is to be connected with ground VCC which is pin number 2 of LCD is to be connected with the 5 volts uh, which we are uh, taking from the breadboard and then this contrast pin which is called the wiper pin this is to be connected with the pin number 3 of LCD so after we are done with these connections uh, we have defined these connections uh, in these uh, two lines I had I have already explained while doing the simulation of LCD uh, once uh, once we have opened this now we can uh, we, we can connect our uh, LCD pens accordingly with the Arduino board now this register select is uh, wire uh, this register select is the gray wire this is to be connected with the pin number 12 of Arduino Yun and this violet one which I have connected with pin with the pin number 6 of LCD this is to be connected with the digital pin 11 of Arduino Yun now remember the enable uh, sorry the read write pin of LCD is to be connected with the ground of breadboard now let me explain again the gray wire which is the register select I have connected it with the digital pin 12 of Arduino the blue wire is the read write pin I have connected it with the ground of the breadboard and this violet one which is enable this I have connected with the digital pin 11 of Arduino now once we are done with these three uh, control pins of LCD let me take four wires and starting from brown which I am connecting with D4 of my LCD brown is connected with the D4 of LCD red one with D5 of LCD orange one with D6 of LCD and this yellow one 
with T7 of LCD. Now this brown one goes to the digital pin 5 of Arduino Uno. Now let me let me cross check D4 of LCD is to be connected with digital pin 5 of Arduino Uno. Okay. Now let's do these last connections D4 with 5 D5 with 4 D6 with 3 and D7 with pin number 2 of Arduino Uno. Now the last two connections left are this green wire which I have connected with the pin number 15 of LCD which shows that this is the anode pin A is already written on this pin and the blue one is the cathode now this green one goes to the VCC of the breadboard and the blue one goes to the ground of the breadboard now by, by this we have turned on our LCD uh, let me uh, write this program for that I, I have to upload my program click this upload, bu upload button and our program will be written on the Arduino Yun. now you can see something coming on the LCD which is hello world and there is accounting in the second line as well this is there uh, in the program okay uh, these two lines written in the loop are responsible to uh, do this counting on the LCD and as you can see that we have printed hello world on this LCD which is already there in the ID I have already explained okay so that's it for the hardware of uh, LED blinking on the Arduino and the uh, writing of our text on the LCD and obviously the interfacing of LCD with the Arduino okay uh, see you in the next lab Thank you.